which we are going to perform. Uh, that is the rumination, deglutition, and salivary secretion of a ruminants. The digestive system of the ruminant is consist of a tubular gastrointestinal tract and accessory organs. And gastrointestinal tract uh, is uh, made up of a uh, mouth, uh, which is the entry of the digestive system, and then the pharynx, and the, it uh, delivers the food uh, to, uh, to the stomach by the esophagus, which is connected with the pharynx, and then the stomach have have to perform a preliminary digestion. And in the ruminants, the stomach is made up of a four uh, compartments. There's a rumen, a reticulum, a bomasum, and omega. So then uh, the small intestine having a duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Uh, this, is, this, this is performing a digestion and absorption. Then the large intestine, uh, which has a cecum, colon, and rectum. Uh, it absorbs the water minerals. And then the cloaca in the birds, whereas the rectum in the large animals, mammals, which expels the waste products. So these are the uh, parts of the digestive system, uh, whereas the accessory organs, which helps in the digestion of the food, these are the salivary glands, liver, and pancreas. As you see that the, uh, as I have told you that the true stomach animal are ruminants, are a cow, buffalo, and the goat and sheep. So the uh, that the digestive system is consist of a mouth, then the pharynx, esophagus. Uh, the accessory glands are salivary glands, which is present at the uh, entry of the uh, digestive system, and then the reticulum. Uh, Excuse me, reticulum. Sir, be British show nahi ho rahi. Aaj aayegi jo. ठीक है. Yeah. So that is uh, the uh, reticulum, omasum, uh, abomasum, and as well as the small intestines having a duodenum, uh, ileum, and cecum, and then the cecum, colon, and the rectum. Uh, this is the uh, uh, stomach having uh, different compartments. As I told you that the rumen, reticulum, uh, omasum, and abomasum. And then the uh, different parts of the uh, uh, stomach and rumina, that is the caudal ventral billard uh, uh, sac, and then the caudal ventral sac, the dorsal sac and the cranial sac and the longitudinal sac and the ventral sac, sac of the stomach. Now it's uh, showing the uh, rumen uh, having a papillaries on the rumen and then uh, there is a honeycomb-like structure that is known as a reticulum then there is a, the interior surface of the rumen, interior surface of the epithelium, and interior surface of the inside of the omasum, which has a folds in it. So where is the lining or epithelia of the reticular rumen uh, at the different stages of the age, uh, and then the different parts the papillae most dense in the ventral sac, where the most absorption occurs in the cardiodarsal blind sac, the ventral sac, the caudal ventral blind sac. Uh, then the papillae development uh, at the newborn, at the uh, age of a milk, milking, and the grain when they eat, and the hay 
when they attack. So the development of the human papillae uh, enlarges whenever they are going to be adult, whereas the papillaries are very similar in the newborns, having a capacity of uh, absorption uh, of the, uh, like, uh, this uh, milk, and it is digested in the stomach, uh, where it is decreased this absorption quality in the adults. So the right or uh, visceral surface of the stomach, dorsal sac, a right longitudinal groove, and then the abomasum, omasum, pylorus, and didunum attached uh, at the pylorus, where is the, uh, the at the fundus, fundus area, the esophagus is attached. So a reticular uh, groove is a pinned in an open position, cardia, which is showing a cardia, reticulo omasal orifice is being shown, shown in the stomach. Uh, the internal parts of the stomach is shown that the reticulo groove is enclosed or position and the esophagus is attached. Uh, reticulo groove is uh, below the esophagus, the vagal attachment, whereas the omasum and then the tightly packed with the digester left and leaves and folds are shown in the omasum. Uh, this, these are the folds which is shown in the omasum. Cow of the omasum is shown in this picture and it is showing the folds of the uh, omasum. So the function of the omasum is to act as a filter to sort out liquids, particles for the passage to the abomasum, select your retention of a coarse particles, absorb, absorb to site of for water, volatile fatty acids, sodium, and the vitamin K, etc. Where is the reduction of the uh, net volume entering the abomasum? The abomasum having a pylorus, uh, the attachment of the uh, duodenum, and then the fundus, fundic, which is the having a, uh, the site for the attachment of the esophagus. So this is showing the abomasum, the force of the uh, abomasum. And the function of the abomasum in the cow is to digest, uh, digest uh, to an abomasum continuous, thus the continuous secretion of a gastric juice. Pepsin and hydrochloric acid is takes place. It is stimulated by the volatile fatty acids and lactic acid. Uh, the short retention time is less than uh, the three hours. So the uh, digesta enters when there is a pH of a, uh, the rimen is about a 6 pH. And when the digesta leaves, the pH declines from a 6 to 2 to 3. So this is uh, when the digesta is being regurgitated. And when they, there is leaving the abomasum, the abomasal pH is reduced from a 6 to 2.2 to 3 pH that is uh, more acidic when the food is leaving the abomasum. So the percentage of a bovine stomach uh, tissue contributed by each compartment, uh, the reticulo rimen at the week, at the at the day of a barn, it is a 38% whereas the reticulo rimen at the age of a four weeks it is 52 percent and then it is uh, at the eight weeks it is a 60 percent and then uh, it is increasing about uh, at 12 weeks 64 percent on the 16 weeks it is 67 percent of the total stomach and 20 to 26 weeks it is 64 percent of the uh, total stomach um, in the compa four compartments, the reticulo rimen occupies 
uh, at the age of 34 to 38 weeks, it occupies the space of uh, total stomach capacity that is a 64 percent and the omism on the day of a parturition it is a 13 percent then on the age of a four weeks it's 12 percent at the age of a eight weeks it is 13 percent of the total compartments and then at the age of a uh, 14 weeks uh, 12 weeks it is a 14 percent then on a 16 weeks, it is 18% and at the uh, 34 to 38 weeks uh, of age, uh, it is a 25% of the total capacity of the uh, stomach. The abomasum is uh, on the day of a parturition, it is a 49% and then it is declining on the fourth week of a age, uh, 36% and the abomasum declines up to a 22% uh, when it is reaching uh, at the age of 12 weeks. Uh, on the day, uh, on the age of uh, 16 weeks, it is a 15% of a total uh, 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 space of a stomach, whereas the, on the uh, age of a 34 to 38 weeks, uh, the abomasum space is declining up to 11 percent and the at the uh, from a 34 to 38 weeks uh, up to the adult age uh, the reticular human space is the 64 percent omasum is a 25 percent and the obm abomasum is a 11 percent whereas on the day of a parturition the reticular human space is a 38 percent omasum is a 13 percent whereas the abomasum is a 49 percent. So therefore, the capacity of a absorption of a uh, milk is uh, more uh, and uh, uh, they are highly um, dependent on the milk when they are born and uh, it is the capacity of uh, absorption of electrodes is declining at the age of a uh, 34 to 38 uh, weeks. So therefore, the capacity of a, a dependence on the milk is declining as the abomasum size or space is declining uh, as the animal is going to be at. So uh, the abomasum is the most important part uh, or uh, organ of the or ruminants at the stage of a zero to a 12 weeks because they are mostly dependent up to three months on the milk and they are capable of absorbing it. The lactose is uh, more uh, produced by the uh, enzyme by the accessory glands so that it produce it is capable of digesting the milk at the age of early age of three months. The motility uh, uh, of the ruminants is that it is depending uh, on the uh, digestion of the food and the motility is the most important uh, to digest the food and mixing of the digest are takes place by the reticulo-omasal orifices the passage of the digester through the reticular omasal orifice takes place when uh, the motility of the rimen and uh, the reticulum is being performed to push or uh, pull the uh, digester and to the uh, omasal part or it may have to regurgitate at uh, uh, the level of a rimen when the digester is in, uh, indigestible. So the cud is re chewed by the animal, re salivate by the animals, and then uh, deglutition is tax place, soiling, re soiling of the food is tax place, passed down to the omasal orifice or omasum, and then the abomasum. Then it is being passed, passed down to the small intestine and the large intestine, then it is being excreted from the rectum. The indigestible food or uh, 
the waste product is excreted through the rectum. So the contraction and the motility of the uh, rimen, uh, that is the contraction and the relaxation of a reticular rimen. So it moves and mixes the digester. Passage of a digester through the reticular omasal orifice. Initial the contraction of the reticulum and then the second powerful contraction of the reticulum. So the wave develops uh, and uh, this wave uh, moves the food towards the omasal uh, area and the uh, it takes uh, the 60 seconds to move the uh, ingester uh, into the omasum and then it passes from a reticulum and then the omasum and to the abomasum. Then it passes through the to the uh, intestine, small intestine and the large intestine. So rumination is uh, the process uh, or action uh, to chew the cut. The regurgitation of a digester is known as a remuneration, a remuneration and the uh, regurgitation is a chewing of a cud or a digested uh, food. Uh, it is uh, performing a rechewing and the, the, uh, this uh, performs the uh, breakdown of the uh, larger particles into a smaller one and that helps in the digestion of a food. Uh, this is also causing a remixing of uh, the food with a saliva. So, re-soiling, re -soiling, uh, of a liquid and a fine particles. So, uh, takes place. Uh, the mastication takes place. Uh, then the uh, insulation of the bolus takes place for 40 to 70 seconds. And then there is a pause of a two to six seconds when the regurgitation is being takes place. So the performing of a chewing is uh, performed for 40 to 70 seconds continuously. And then the pause of a two to six seconds is being taken place by the animals to stop the re-chewing and then again restart the chewing of the animals. So the movement of uh, the mouth is uh, vertical to grind the food on the uh, in the mouth so you can see the pictures that uh, the a picture is uh, showing that the lower jaw is vertically moves uh, to the right side and then moves again to the left side so this is performing the to reach you the cud and grind the cud in between the uh, molar teeth so uh, this is the process that is taking place for a 40 to 70 seconds to uh, grind the food and then take a pause of a four to six uh, seconds, then uh, start the grinding of the food. So this is a continuous process which, which may take place up to a four to six hours. So after a, eating of food, the animal is performing a regurgitation or a remuneration, a remuneration of the food. Eating and ruminating uh, increases the saliva, saliva secretions, uh, helps to reduce the particle size of a feed and promote the passage of a digester from the, uh, uh, from the uh, stomach, uh, esophagus to the uh, uh, tract so which elevates the gut fill. Uh, the rectation means whenever there is a formation of a gases takes place in the rumen, the rumen contraction forces the gas to the back and then forward. Uh, the gas forced up esophagus to the trachea, which is known as the erectation, and this is erectated most of the Cases are erected from uh, esophagus, or it may be uh, came down into the uh, small intestine, large intestine. Then the uh, feces is being uh, also uh, as in a 
best product executed through a rectum along with the feces and as well as it is um, being taken out from a rectum normally from a, a mouth during a regurgitation or it may be taken out from a rectum by the gas uh, expelling. So the esophagus of the fistula is uh, being applied so that the um, passage of the food and uh, the cud is being analyzed directly taken from the uh, esophagus because uh, the uh, during the regurgitation or a cud uh, for uh, assessment of the energies or uh, uh, the analysis of the food direct sample is being taken for a place from a uh, esophagus continuously and then analyzed for the uh, presence of a uh, organisms presence of a uh, gases and as well as uh, the nutritive value of the cud as well as the nutritive value of the uh, food taken inside uh, during uh, eating or during a uh, regurgitation it is reanalyzed and uh, reassessed and uh, uh, as well as uh, nutritive value is being analyzed by processing it you can see the rumination bolus rumination bolus and uh, the liquid uh, which is uh, taken from a, a rumen and then uh, it is analyzed for uh, uh, the nutritive value of the uh, rumen cut and uh, as well as the liquid cut because uh, rumen is containing uh, uh, three portions of the uh, food one is the uh, gases portion and then the liquid portion and a hard portion so this is the rumination bolus, which is a dry and uh, that can be analyzed for the carbohydrate, protein, fat, and as well as for uh, minerals and vitamins and enzymes analysis. So the bolus is being taken and then it is being processed for the uh, analysis of the various uh, uh, contents and then uh, the uh, Biotechnology is being taken place uh, to assess the digestion process and then to produce or to um, perform to prepare the probiotics or a prebiotics or even a antibiotics or a enzymes which is uh, helpful in the digestion. So the uh, the development of a different enzymes, different uh, uh, prebiotics and uh, probiotics which helps in the uh, uh, to resolve the problems of the rumination or uh, ruminant animals when they are unable to perform the rumination these uh, probiotics and prebiotics helps in the rumination and as well as uh, in the digestion so the saliva saliva secretion takes place during a uh, rumination that's uh, uh, at the uh, two to four hours uh, and it is taking place during a resting time. So the particle size is being reduced. So long forage particles are being eaten. Then during a eating, it is a 15 to 55 percent are being um, um, breakdown of the uh, particles are taking place. Whereas the rumination, the cut redigestion are reaching is uh, taken place uh, which is uh, digest the food up to 20 to 65 percent then the digestion plus a uh, rubbing tax place in the rumen that is a 15 to 25 percent whereas the digester or the food is particles are excreted that is a 5 to 10 percent in the feces salivation is taken place to lubricate the food for soiling or a re-soiling and the passage of the food through the gastrointestinal tax place uh, would the buffer helps to uh, acidify the uh, rumen. The bicarbonate or a phosphate buffers are uh, produced that is uh, during the digestion. So these uh, acids are being neutralized by a buffering system and therefore the activity of the digestion is 
taken place in the conducive form. The uh, non -am uh, no amylase is present in the ruminants. Uh, there is a, a pregastric esterase or a lipase in the pre ruminant area, uh, whereas the nutrients from a microbes, which is the mucin, phosphorus, magnesium, and a chlorine, is uh, produced by the microbes and anti prodding property, which is uh, blood, is also performed by the salivation. So the salivation or the saliva is uh, helpful uh, to uh, perform uh, strays uh, to uh, pre-gastric animals uh, uh, to uh, induce the strays lipase enzymes and also it mixes uh, the uh, food with the mucin, uh, the magnesium chlorine and even the saliva is a uh, anti-frothing property which does not allow the blood or a tampony to be produced in the animals. Uh, so it is reducing the blotting and uh, the salivary glands are present, uh, which is 50% uh, of the total saliva is produced by the parietid saliva. So the main paired saliva, salivary glands of the sheep are uh, parietid submaxillary um, glands, anterior, inferior molar glands, sublingual glands, buccal glands, and labial glands. So all these five types, uh, six types of the salivary glands are contributing for the production of a saliva. But the total, uh, uh, total volume of the saliva uh, the 50 percent of the total volume of the saliva is contributed by the parotid saliva, salivary glands. So amount of the saliva, the parotid cannulation was performed to receive the total collection of the saliva in a day, only a one duct, that is contributing uh, uh, daily a uh, one bag of the um, Saliva. So, re enter the parotid uh, cannulation. So, the collection of the cardia using a bag and requires a partial remen impeding. So, this is the uh, if you have to only stop uh, uh, saliva from a parotid glands, that will uh, cause the 50% of a empty uh, remen. So, the feed whenever taken by the uh, sheep, uh, plated ration uh, is containing a 0 0.68 grams per gram of the food. Uh, the saliva, saliva in it, which is a 243 ml per minute, and the 357 gram of the uh, food Per minute. So therefore, the uh, food in the pelleted food ration and a sheep, if it is, she is taking in a 357 grams per minute, then the 243 ml of the uh, saliva will be uh, mixed with the, that food, uh, 243 ml per minute. So therefore, the mixing in the food, which might be a 0 0.68 grams in a one gram. So therefore, uh, it is about a 60% of the saliva uh, in, a, uh, in a one gram of the food. So the fresh grass, if uh, the animal is taking a fresh grass, uh, which is a one gram, it, it is being contributed by the salivary glands, that is a 0 0.9 grams of the saliva into one gram of the food. So this is a 266 ml per minute and 283 grams food per minute is being taken. Then it is contributed by the 
saliva that is a 266 ml of the saliva so therefore whenever the animals are taking a fresh grass they are they have a more salivation as compared to a plated rations if the silage is feeded then the salivation will be 1.13 gram per gram means more than the uh, silage material the saliva will be contributed in the uh, food so 280 ml per minute saliva will be produced when the animal is fed with a silage 248 gram of the food is taken in a minute so therefore the lesser food is being taken and a more volume of the saliva will be produced to contribute and swallowed into the rumen if the animal is taking a dry food the animal is taking a dry food then dry dried grasses that will contributed almost the that is contributed almost the almost the 3.25 grams per gram food where is the 270 ml of the saliva will be uh, mixed with the food into a 83 grams of uh, the food per minute so the if the animal is being take, uh, feeded with a hay then the 3.63 gram of the uh, saliva will be mixed with a one gram of the hay therefore the 254 ml per minute saliva will be produced to a far the 70 gram of the food per minute so therefore if the animals are being placed on the hay they will produce a more saliva to swallow the hay and as well as it will contribute uh, with a higher volume of the saliva to produce that the animals which eat slowly they will produce more saliva whereas the role of the salivary glands and the saliva is the parotid medibular sublingual zygomatic exocrine glands they are producing and secreting a serious mucus and mixed secretions so that facilitated in the mastication and deglutition uh, so therefore the eating of the food is easier when the salivary glands produce more saliva and swelling of the food is easier when it is mixed with the higher volume of the saliva for during eating during mastication and even during regurgitation and uh, the deglutition is more perfectly being taken place and easily being taken place when the saliva is produced in a higher volume the that contains the salivary amylase in an enzyme that breaks down the starch so as the saliva is in a more and a higher contents that is containing a more amylase therefore the more starch or the cellulose will be break down into the glucose and it will be converted into the um, uh, more uh, molecules smaller molecules which can be absorbed more, more easily so the alkaline in the nature reduce the ph in the stomach saliva contributes to reduce the ph in the in the stomach and that the salivary glands produce the saliva which is mostly alkaline in the nature when they are being mixed with the acidic uh, uh, stomach it is being neutralizing the effect of the acidity and as well as maintaining the ph of the stomach to digest the food very easily the volume of the saliva varies but greatest in the herbivorous animals in a cow there is a 25 to 50 gallons per day which is uh, about 100 to 200 liters per day so the the cow is produced 
something about 100 to 200 liters of the saliva in a day, which is uh, additional function of this uh, salivation is to neutralize the large amount of acids and are produced as a result of a fermentation. So to meet the buffer, buffering demands, ruminant saliva contains a bicarbonate and a phosphate buffers, particularly for the bacterial growth. So this salivation is also supporting the uh, bacterial growth and it is helping in the fermentation of the food, uh, which is uh, one of the process of the digestion in which the large particles of the uh, food is being digested and break down into the smaller, smaller molecules by a fermentation and buffering system also helps in the maintaining of the pH or uh, the, uh, the buffering system does not allow the animals to be more acidic or more alkaline. So therefore, that is meant in the environment of the better environment of the human condition environment for the bacterial growth and the bacterial and the protozoal and fungal growth has always been a helpful in the fermentation and digestion of a food. Role of the saliva, uh, uh, gl salivary glands and saliva is that it is performing a salivation uh, which is a con controlled by the nervous system. So the testing, smelling, and even a thinking are a taking about a food stimulate increased by the saliva. So we can we can test the food, we can smell the food, we can think the food, which is a, a identification or even helpful in the stimulation of the salivation. And therefore, the test of the food is also increasing the salivation. Smell of the food is increasing the salivation. Even the thinking and uh, talking about the food is also stimulating the salivation and it is increasing to produce a more saliva during uh, the testing, uh, during the smelling, or uh, thinking and uh, talking about the food. Mostly uh, after this uh, um, mastication or uh, eating of the food, or even uh, um, regurgitation or uh, rumination of the food, uh, the swelling or uh, re-swelling is being taken place means when we are eating the food, we swallow it and in the ruminants again perform a rechewing of that food or a cut and then they re-swallow it. So the deglutition is taking place uh, two times in our ruminants. One is during eating and other is during uh, regurgitation. So the, the deglutition is act of a swelling. So convey of a food mass bolus from the mouth to the stomach. So suitable area of a swelling generally midline between the tongue and the heart palate for swelling. The three stages of uh, swelling. One is through the mouth, the, which is a voluntarily, uh, through the pharynx, which is by a reflex method, and through the esophagus. It is also taken by a reflex method. So there are uh, voluntarily we are taking a food into the mouth and then the involuntarily it is passing down through a pharynx to the esophagus. The uh, food is in a contact with the receptors of a mucous membrane of a posterior part of the mouth with the posterior wall of the pharynx. So the impulses from the receptors pass along the uh, glycopharyngeal area, the superior laryngeal branches of the vagus nerve and the maxillary, maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve to the swallowing centra in the medulla. Collection of the nerves are located in the fourth ventricle of brain. So the whole process is completed in a 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 seconds. So the deglutition is a very quick process. Whenever the animals uh, masticate, uh, then the rechewed is being swallowed 
very quickly between a 0.5 to 0 0.07 seconds are taken play uh, taken for the resoiling or for the soiling of the food. After domestication, the animal perform this process of a deglutition within a within a one second. So this is the uh, uh, this is, these observation will be made on the animals and uh, during the resting time uh, we have to observe the animals at the farm uh, when they are performing a regurgitation and uh, reaching of the food and then they are uh, soiling it and the rumination is taking place so you will observe that how the the animals are uh, using the mouth for regurgitation um, deglutition and as well as for saliva salivation of the food thank you very much uh, the this is the This is the last slide, and uh, uh, you can watch uh, this uh, lecture on a Microsoft stream. That you can also see this lecture on a YouTube, and in the you can contact with me on email, uh, which is Gmail, and as well as sauedu.com uh, email and WhatsApp number for taking this uh, lectures on your uh, allocation wherever you need it. Uh, these lectures are also available in in my uh, uh, channel uh, on my account. All these uh, are being PowerPoints are uploaded, whereas uh, the lectures of uh, uh, practical and lectures of the theory are present on the uh, streamline Microsoft streamline as well as on the Facebook and the YouTube. So you can watch all these lectures as well uh, to if the any person or uh, any students which is uh, and that person has not a compatible program. Agar wo ye jo mere lectures hain, usko PowerPoint nazar nahi aa rahi hain ya kisi ke paas hai, properly jo hai na, ये जो पावरपॉइंट है वो खुली नहीं है या पिक्चर्स जो हैं वो उसे नजर नहीं आ रही या स्लाइड्स जो है उसे नजर नहीं आ रही थी आवाज सुनाई दे रही थी लेकिन स्लाइड्स उसके सामने ओपन नहीं हो रही थी तो वो रिविजिट कर सकता है माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्ट्रीम पे वो लेक्चर्स जैसे यहां से मैंने अपलोड किए हैं तो वैसे ही वो स्ट्रीम लाइन पे अपलोड हो चुके हैं so you can see that one uh, ke yehi lecture repeat ho sakta hai youtube pe bhi nazar aayega aapko aapko ye uh, mere jo hai microsoft stream mein bhi by voice by uh, even uh, the presentation is available aur ye uh, powerpoint agar kisi ko uh, matlab yahan nazar nahi aayi hai kuch slides wagera तो ये मैं अपलोड करूंगा क्योंकि ये पावर पॉइंट्स कुछ मेरी पावर पॉइंट्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 7 में बनी है 2007 में बनी है 3 97 टू 2003 में जो है ना वो सेव की हुई है कुछ जो है ना पावर पॉइंट्स जो है ना माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 10 में बनी हुई है तो कुछ यहां पे नजर आती हैं कुछ स्टूडेंट्स को कुछ को नहीं नजर आती हैं जिनके पास लेटेस्ट वर्जन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का होता है तो उसमें सबको नजर आती हैं वो जो स्लाइड्स चाहे वो 97 में हो 2003 में हो या फिर वो 2010 में हो वो सारी जो है 2010 वालों को या अपडेटेड जिसके पास माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्जन है तो उनको नजर आती हैं या इवन दे आर बीइंग कन्वर्टेड इनटू एक्चुअली यहां पे चेंज होती हैं जब यहां से अपलोड करते हैं तो यहां पे जब हम डिस्कस करते हैं तो ये सारी जो भी यहां से शेयर करता हूं तो वो कन्वर्ट होती हैं आपकी वीडियोस में और फिर ये वीडियो अपलोड भी होती है तो आप वीडियो को भी आप रीचेक कर सकते हैं सुन सकते हैं दोबारा 
इसी प्रेजेंटेशन को और इस प्रेजेंटेशन को आप यूट्यूब के मेरे चैनल पे भी आप इसको चेक कर सकते हैं सुन सकते हैं तो और ये जो पावर पॉइंट है ये आपके इस फाइल में भी मैं डेली बुनियाद पे अपलोड करता करता हूँ अगर कोई रह जाती है तो आई आई कैन इवन अपलोड दैट वन बट इनशाला वी विल मीट इन नेक्स्ट वीक फेस टू फेस एंड देन वी कैन अटेन द क्लासेस एज सून एज पॉसिबल जैसे जैसे ये यूनिवर्सिटी खुलती जाएगी डेफिनेटली जैसे जैसे कोविड नाइन्टीन का जो जो चल रहा है अपना आउटब्रेक वो रिड्यूस होगी तो डेफिनेटली वी विल कम डाउन टूवर्ड्स नॉर्मल लाइफ और फिर हम ये क्लासें जब हम फेस टू फेस अटेंड करेंगे तो दीज चैनल्स विल बी सपोर्टिंग चैनल्स दिस 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 पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशंस विल बी हेल्पफुल इन द फ्यूचर एंड यू कैन री रीड इट एंड रीअसेस इट बट प्रैक्टिकली टू डू ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी विल बी एबल टू परफॉर्म ऑन द फॉर्म्स इन द लेबोरेटरीज ऑल दीज प्रैक्टिकल कैन बी डन because the practical is the main source of uh, uh, practice without uh, doing the things uh, you will not been able to uh, be a uh, comprehensive for those topics and titles which are uh, shown over here jo bhi humne yahan pe digestive system padha hai humne jo hai lactation physiology padhi hai to humne yahan pe jo hai एंडोक्रेनोलॉजी पढ़ी है तो ये चीज़ें कंप्रीहेंड से होती हैं जब आप प्रैक्टिकली उसको देखते हो तो आई होप के यू विल सी ऑल दीज थिंग्स